Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019. So that being said, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for Gemini um, star sign and uh, for that reason in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy uh, in the spread as well as I'm going to try to give you a few examples but ultimately um, as it is a general reading you will have to uh, align it to your personal situation for maximum accuracy just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video now if you want me to do that for you or to analyze your situation through uh, through tarot cards in a tarot reading that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing so these are the five cards uh, for your month and this is going to be as well an enhanced tarot spread. So what we do have uh, here just from the overview that is a, a second try, like a second try into reconciliation, a second try into a, a project and in generally salvaging uh, the current situation and trying, and trying anew which that trying anew is going to give a, a better result. That is just summarizing all the cards. <clears throat> now uh, we're going to indulge deeper into every single one of them. The first one which is the topic of your month that is going to be the Two of Swords followed by the Five of Swords. And what we do have here is a, a different perspective or a different look upon a, a situation which is simply uh, doesn't work is not working out at this very moment either regarding career or either regarding relationship and now uh, that I'm kind of like uh, thinking of it recently I had a, uh, a reading with a, a customer of mine that uh, asked you know about a, a certain position that they want to take in um, in a professional development and if that reading was for the were, uh, were for them I would have told them that they are approaching the situation wrong these cards are pointing that there is a, an equilibrium here so your capabilities are just on the bar you know and uh, you need to increase your capabilities in order to overcome the bar of expectations either regarding career or either regarding relationship how this could happen well that can happen uh, as you kind of approach the entire situation from a, a different angle from a different perspective for example uh, if you're trying to push a certain project that work all by yourself and it isn't working out well this kind of points that that is your limit here and uh, now you have to kind of attract more people there to help you and that way you are going to unblock yourself or as well maybe you if you kind of make a, a careful analy uh, analyzation of the situation you may see that you are doing thing, the things wrong uh, with your approach with your performance and by starting <clears throat> by restarting the whole thing thing and adopting a different strategy that will give a, a better result but the point here is guys that you should not give up you should not give away what you are after and if it isn't working out at that specific moment it's not working out for a couple of reason, reasons either the time isn't correct or either you know basically you are doing something wrong you're approaching the whole thing from a, a different angle another example here is let's say you want a promotion and uh, somewhere along February you you are going to go to your boss and uh, you are going to ask for it well there is a, a two ways how you can ask for a promotion you can say you can display to your boss what they are going to gain by uh, promoting you or you can say to them uh, you can display to them what they're going to lose if they not if they don't promote you uh, now um, psychologically wise explaining what they're going to lose uh, gives you more chances uh, gives you better chances to get the promotion because people are more prone to avoid losses than um, 
than basically benefiting in gains because benefiting in gains means that they are going to have to uh, basically place themselves into uncomfortable position while avoiding losses any way they have to do it all right so uh, as you can see with with every situation there are more than one ways how you can approach it and here you are going to find new way how to approach your situations which are going to give you better results and that is given here with the five of cups as well which is the intentions and with the six of wands and these cards really kind of like talk about salvaging all right it's really talking about scraping the thing hold down diminishing it to the ground zero and starting it anew but uh, as this is going to be a, a partial loss here because the uh, five of pentacles or five of cups excuse me it kind of speaks for loss but it is just a temporary one it is a, a small petite and, and a um, kind of like a partial one it also tells you not to deviate from the path that you have chosen so what you are after here what your agenda is or what kind of a project or a person you want to be with this isn't something that you cannot achieve it is just you have to kind of like as i said you know do things in a different way and that different way is going to be uh is going to be found by you throughout this um this month of February 2019 so uh, th these cards here really Gemini's are pointing that you are going to uh, um, build up rather or create for yourself much more uh, lucrative or beneficial strategy of how you can approach your marriage your career or your relationship the six of wands here is pointing that your rewards are waiting you there but you cannot take them with your current performance and if you are disappointed by it that doesn't mean as well again that you have to give up that you have to give away um <clears throat> you know your goal but you should as i said approach it from a, a different uh, angle uh, one more thing i want to say here in a more practical uh, level is that these cards as well were pointing that some of uh the aggression that you may exp that you are um, that you may that you are may experiencing throughout the month of january or even before that is going to kind of diminish a lot all right so let's say that you have that mean colleague at work they will for the month of january for the month of um February they for example they most likely are going to be focused on something else they aren't going to be focused on you I mean you will be indifferent for them and etc etc same goes for relationship life so you can use that time really to reorganize you know your plans your strategies and your performance as well now the challenges which are causing predicaments here we do have the page of swords with the nine of pentacles and this is uh, your kind of like stubbornness here that is truly uh, obstructing you now instead of um, kind of taking a, a few moments rather like a, a few days and think of previous experience that you do had taking the things more lightly more carefree not with such not with such seriousness that you are doing right now you know being more um open-minded if you want to say it that way uh, is going to give you much better results than having having it your your way at all cost because with the five of swords here having it your way with uh, uh, on all costs most likely going to work out because five of swords it's kind of pointing always to a victory but most likely a bitter victory so at all costs means that the cost is going to be more than you actually know so you will have to pay extra and a lot of extra and a lot of it for that matter so uh, reorganizing your mindset you know your fulcrum your point of view uh, and as well uh, it will help you if you do some spring cleaning for example abandoning uh, anoxious habits of yours uh, cutting ties with people that does not doesn't uh, that aren't doing anything but making you feel despondent like people that are constantly whining uh, the people that you have nothing to learn from and etc etc as well is going to benefit you a, a lot here 
So basically throughout this month, if someone cannot contribute for your well-being, doesn't have a place in your environment and vice versa, of course. <clears throat> The next card that we do have here, this is going to be the Eight of Cups, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. And that will be with the Ace of Cups. So what we do have here, the Eight, the eight of Cups speaks for the necessary change of action that one needs to do. Now let me explain it that way. Let's say that you are, uh, career-wise, you're working on... Um, on a, a project and this project isn't working out well just like as I said here with these cards uh, that means that you need to do something different you need to put a, a fresh wind or kind of like invite a, a fresh uh, fresh wind in so the situation can stir again right the eight of cups points that even if the situation right now rather seems a bit misfortunate all right and it's not ideal the way you wanted it to be uh, a better perspective is going to emerge soon but you need to rely on new formed circumstances which are pointed here with the ace of cups which again speaks for the stubbornness you may have here not wanting to have it the way that the universe is presenting it to you but to have it your way your way rather and your way is not the way that ultimately you want it to be because uh, with these cards you know probably there will be people here saying you know what do you know and etc etc you know I, I know what I want and so on and so forth but sometimes at the end the results that we get uh, if we push at all cost are not exactly the results that are um, ideal and uh, here throughout this month uh, Gemini it does look like that the uh, the circumstances for the ideal results are going to be uh, presented to you one way or another but that will uh, require from you to kind of like abandon a certain positions uh, especially with your performance just like I said and readopting a, a new strategy so you can take on a, a different angle that undertaking of yours and make it differently and that will uh, kind of like unlock or stir the new perspective uh, in this uh, enterprise of yours and in generally you will see how the things from now on are starting to happen much much more uh, lightly so um, <clears throat> a few examples now uh, I think I gave the example with the project where you have to basically um, accept your limitations and if the project isn't working out as um, you are trying to push it all or on your own then um, you have to invite new people in or rather like ask for help there and that help is going to basically uh, make the project stir uh, once again but with these cards here it means that you have to share the recognition and you will have to share the rewards but better share rewards that done uh, no none rewards overall so um, uh, it does look like that you will have to make here if we're talking about career wise and project wise we're talking about here a bit of a sacrifice of the um, of the rewards at the end but that sacrifice is going to be rather a bit negligible all right and uh, ultimately you will end up with if not as much as you have expected with a bit more than uh, than you have expected and uh, here it's important to not be biased about your understanding as a predicament all right but rather be more open-minded and listen to what the people that you have invited uh, invited in are telling you as a um, as a ideas and as well as a new strategies and etc etc because as we said here you need a, a different performance you need to to grasp on the new circumstances and those new circumstances needs to be grasped with, with a, a new way of thinking with a, a new point of view and that's why it will be important not to be unyielding about your point of view overall <clears throat> Uh, relationship wise what we do have uh, here this uh, these cards are pointing now it does depend relationship wise what's um, 
why your situation is really but uh, what these cards here are pointing is that you need to approach it from a different angle either you want to be with someone or you are with someone and things aren't working out well uh, if things aren't working out if you are with someone that that is uh, because there is a, some sort of a blockage here and an equilibrium I no one can move in neither direction neither you neither this uh, this guy or girl that you are with uh, for example you both want to go into a, a vacation and one wants to go into Hawaii the other one wants to go into the Caribbean and there is no um, uh, the both ideas are equally good and there is no consensus there and uh, none of you it's agreed with uh, either of the um, of either of the ideas and what happens here is that probably you should salvage both of these ideas and seek for a third place to go it's it's basically the best way how you can do it and even though you may not find it very enthralling at the start you are going to see when you go there you are going to see that actually this new place uh, was was worth it it's gonna give you whatever you have expected from the Caribbean or from the Hawaii and uh, <clears throat> with these cards here that new place needs to be something that you haven't thought until now or at least you haven't been there until this uh, very moment so these are just an, an example guys but that could be a um, manifestation in many many different ways these cards that reading could manifest in many many different ways for each single one of you uh, the next card that we do have this is going to be the ten of pentacles with the devil card which is the final outcome of the situation so what we do have here is a uh, personal independence uh, in general and as well uh, how can I place it having the means necessary in order to execute your dream so as you have put your uh, situation in store here by a minor compromise uh, of your behalf just like I said uh, with either invi in inviting new people uh, into your situation or making compromise for a, a new undertaking and etc etc or you know approaching the situation from a different angle here with a, a new strategy a new performance the ten of pentacles it is pointing that now you are going to have um, it's not really a control but more like an in independence just like I said over your things over your relationship and over uh, your situation on top of that this card here is pointing that you are going to build up a lot of trust into the people that are as well involved uh, into those situation you are going to uh, build up a lot of trust into the person you want to be with you are going to build up a lot of trust into your colleagues uh, as well into your boss or supervisor seeing you that you are agile enough you know to uh, readopt your strategies the way that the project requires it to be readopted all right and also the ten of pentacles here points to lucrivity so it may speak that you are going to have raise into your salary you know or consolidation into your relationship and etc etc but these are very uh, material interpretations of the cards on top of that this card points that someone who uh, disappointed you back in the past is going to regain back your trust so we can speak for a, a reconciliation here especially if this is your goal uh, a reconciliation of a, a relationship is very very possible throughout the month of February the devil card however here points to a aggression and as well it does point to a sense that you may have within yourself that you could have done it a bit better right and that you um, or a sense that you along the way did something not wrong but you took a, a wrong decision somewhere along the way and that is the price that one needs to pay when they consolidate a certain thing all right but that is a small price in regards to the benefits that you are going to have which as i said are going to be independence lucrivity here or reconciliation as well or in generally a lot of trust is kind of like it's not even a harmony but more like a a peacefulness into one relationship 
However, here it's important to know that these things are coming with, uh, these benefits are coming with some strings, with some obligations and with some responsibilities that you need to, uh, that you need to attend to afterwards and those responsibilities need to be maintained, alright? You cannot simply neglect them. So that being said, Geminis, uh, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for February 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, as I said, this was a, a general reading for Gemini star sign. And therefore, uh, that reading is going to resonate in a different level with a different Gemini's. <clears throat> so uh, if you want your situation to be analyzed by me through tarot just like I did for the few examples in this video well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing Rod signing out now see you next time bye